Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be trying something a bit different. Loads of super giants at Town Hall 15 seem to work really well. Yes guys, so we're going to watch some replays in just a moment. First of all, let's have a look at this army composition. As you can see, wow, totally different. So 10 super archers, 17 super giants and a lava hound named Larry. Spells are going to be 2 rage, a clone and 7 invisibility spells, 4 super archers inside the battle blimp. So here we go, here we go guys, yes. So, I think this was from a war or clan war league, I can't remember, I think war. So, centralized town hall base, some nasty, nasty invisibility spell towers. And the great thing about this, guys, the super giants are great at getting through walls. So, it does help the attack. Because with ground attacks, obviously, that's one of the main issues, walls, of course. So, first stage of the attack, you're going to send in Larry the Lava Hound to distract the defenses. Then send in your battle blimp. We're going for the town hall with the super archer blimp with clone spells. Seven invisibility spells. Is a bit more forgiving it gives you more time so first of all then what we're going to do is put down an invisibility spell unpack your battle blimp into the center of it then use a clone spell then a rage spell what i would say and i don't think i did this on the attack is after about 10 15 seconds you know just when your rage spell your initial rage spell runs out put another rage spell down it really helps and i think i forgot but yeah with those seven invisibility spells you've got about 28 seconds of invisibility so you will need another rage spell near... No, I didn't, guys. There we go. Yeah, I remembered. I remembered. And there's a goblin there. A nasty enemy goblin. I uh, did some damage. So we've taken out nearly a quarter of the base. And now I'm thinking second stage... I think I went off to grab some water there to stay hydrated. And uh, that was my cat, Lee, playing around with the screen. So next stage of the attack. Spam attack, guys. Yeah. Maybe use a couple of giants on one side, super giants with a couple of super archers. Rest of the super giants in the center. Grand Warden on ground mode. Send in your heroes apart from the royal champion. Send in your royal champion a bit later when you can see what's happening. Use the Grand Warden ability and those super giants say, hey, let us through these walls, please. And you've got to be careful, guys, because it is true. Super giants are really good at breaking down walls. And my next door neighbor is called Gary. The super giant. He's a super giant, guys. I had my suspicions for a while, uh, but he told me that he said, yeah, I'm a super giant, Moose. I said, I thought so. He was about 12 foot tall and looked just like a super giant. And another thing that happened about, I don't know, six months before, I've got a lovely wall in the back garden that we share, that I share with Gary. And I just saw him just nudge into it very gently and it broke. About a three, three foot section of the wall just crumbled. I thought, that's strange. And it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Anyway, back to the action. What's going on? Royal Champion on the left-hand side. She's doing a great job. Super Archers are fantastic. Not only in the Battle Blimp, but just, you know, getting through defences. They're long range. And I thought, guys, yeah, this is just something totally different. Is it going to get you three stars all the time? No. Of course, I don't think any attack will. Will it get you some three stars? I hope so. And we do have another replay from my clan mate in just a moment who shared this attack strategy so a massive thank you to them three stars thank you very much and guys do remember hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army for plenty more town hall 15 attack strategy videos like this easy to use ones if i can find them for you so this is life from the mike the minion clan massive thank you to them for sharing this replay in the clan chat so let's see how life three stars is based and guys quickly on this channel as well we do have a creator code that means you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases our code is code moose any support will be absolutely terrific so back to the action battle blimps there there's the invisibility spell you know the rest of the story here super archers everywhere giant bomb to the foot that's not nice more invisibility spells take out the town hall please and i know what you're probably thinking maybe some uh, people who are still viewing the video you think it's a moose super archers no i'm tired of su no guys super archers in the battle you've got to use them they're so powerful you need to learn to use them you really do if you want to have a uh, easier three-star success rate in the Legend League. So 24% of the base gone. Mission accomplished. Well done. Next stage of the attack. Yeah, spam attack. Maybe the king on one side. You know, just a bit of a funnel, guys. You don't want the troops going off everywhere. The super giants obviously are going to be uh, drawn to defenses. And this is beautiful. Look at the super archers doing a great job there. Moving through the base. And of course, that's the only danger with a super archer battle blimp attack with a ground army 
how do you get your troops into compartments? Well, this sort of solves that, doesn't it? Super giants. Now, I, I hope I'm right here, and I should have really looked this up before the video, as in the stats for you, but they do have a bonus against walls, don't they? So they can break through walls more easily. And Town Hall 15 walls are very nice. One of my neighbours had some Town Hall 15 walls built the other day. I think they were quite expensive, and they took uh, quite a long time to build. But yeah, they're very powerful. You can't knock them down very easily, unless your name's Gary and you're a super giant. then maybe you can. But anyway, they're doing a great job moving through the base. The compartments are being taken out. Well, who's in there? Royal champion. So yeah, something a bit different. And if I ever see an attack strategy that thinks a bit different, I think, yeah, I want to share this. Is it powerful? Is it good? Yeah, I think this is powerful. I think it is good. I think it's totally, totally different. The only drawback, let's be honest, two super troops. I'm sure a couple of you out there thought, oh, two super troops, that's 50,000. Elixir, no Elixir, Dark Elixir, oh, yeah, but I think it's worth it, just, you know, just use this attack in the war or something, practice of course, and you get three stars, everybody would be saying, wow, see that super giant attack, that was amazing, and just say, yeah, I saw it on Samus's channel, one of his clan mates used it live, fantastic, so can we get three stars, there is quite a nasty section of the base over there, yeah, the king's there waiting, exclamation marks above his head, Multi Inferno as well, but the Giants don't care. They're there to get a job done, and they're good at it, yes. And guys, one last reminder. The majority of people who watch any YouTube videos on channels are normally not subscribed. I don't know what the percentage is. So yeah, join the channel if you want to see more attacks like this. Like the video if you've liked it. Don't like it if you haven't liked it. No, of course, I'm not asking you to do that. But yeah, if you've liked it, that'd be fantastic. I'll stop talking now. Have a lovely day. Army copy links in the video description and I wish you the best of luck and many three stars going forward. Bye.